Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Ooh, somebody's fighting over money. What is this? What is this? You know, somebody could be realizing too that they've got some competition. Here's the thing. I feel like I feel a few different things. I feel like there's some fight about money going on behind the scenes with your person. Like there's a bunch of people. It's This is including a lot of people. I don't know. I feel like your person is leaving some kind of chaotic situation. Like they're, they're like it's almost like they're turning their back on a group that just wants them for money. Okay? And that group is fighting amongst themselves, maybe panicking because this masculine is cutting them off. I kind of get the sense that there was a group of people that was using this masculine. Okay? Um and it could be masculine, feminine, but I am picking up heavy masculine energy. So just take it how it resonates with you. But I feel like this person now is coming towards you. And there's a group of people. It could be a family, right? It could be a family of people that do not want this person to come towards you, okay? You know, I can also see that this is somebody who could be completely bailing on um, maybe some wedding plans, okay? <laughs> Use your intuition, right? I feel like somebody maybe was about to get married and they're like, nope, I gotta go. I want you, but they want you back. This person's coming in to have this victory with you, okay? They want to choose you. And I feel like that, yeah, it's almost like they leave are they leaving someone at the altar here? And maybe there's a lot of people griping about money. You know, they could be um, they could be really angry because, I mean, honestly, I feel like somebody is bailing on wedding plans. I feel like they may have gotten engaged to someone else and they're like, nope, I don't want this anymore. Oof. And there's a whole family that's fighting with each other. Yeah, this person is, they're done. They, I feel like, honestly, the Seven of Swords, this could be theft as well. Um, so this has something to do with money, okay? It has something to do with money. It could have been a, like somebody getting married for money. Or this, this could be an event or something like that. I'm like, the marriage, the wedding costs a lot of money and people are ticked off. Okay, but this person is sneaking out of this situation. They can't get you off of their mind. I feel like you're the high priestess here. And there is something about your energy that is just pulling this person straight to you. This could very well be your twin flame. The lover's card can be a twin flame card. Okay, but as this person sneaks away and they're leaving, I feel like, um, see, here's, here's one wand in their hand. Wanting a new beginning. Knowing what it is that they truly want. They're in their car here. I feel like they get in their car and there's a whole group of people, this five of wands, that's these five wands here. There's a whole group of people that are fighting amongst each other. There could be actually, um, there could be people on the, on say the bride side that are really ticked off and people on the groom side this masculine side the, these family members that are encouraging them to move move forward towards you you know I, I feel like it's both and this is why there's a big fight between families this is a I feel like it's a marriage proposal a wedding that's being called off canceled or this masculine is just escaping from it they could just be sneaking away, getting in their car. Their family's like, go, go, go. Because I feel like they don't like the karmic or whoever it is that um, is pressuring them to get married. Okay? And I feel like this was a huge event, too. I feel like the, the karmic wanted everything lavish. She wanted the biggest and the most expensive wedding ever. Like, this is something that's costing a huge amount of money thousands of dollars okay thousands upon thousands of dollars 
Um, yeah, and I feel like family could have paid for it. But even so, the Carmix family, I feel, is really ticked off. And the masculine side, though, seem it's almost as if they're getting some encouragement from a group, okay? <laughs> yeah, and they're leaving behind... They're leaving behind a karmic. And I, I just feel like they're they're either canceling wedding plans or they're literally sneaking out of this thing and walking away and getting in their car and driving away because they're all dressed up here. It's like the day of. This could even be something that happens this weekend. I'm hearing something about this weekend. Six of Cups, you're all that they can think about this person. Look, they're on, yeah, they're on a mission to come back to you, okay? They're, they're um, canceling or bailing from, like, leaving someone at the altar to come back around to you. Yeah, they're, yep. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to get some communication. They're in a lot of regret, okay? This person, they're enthusiastic. They're like, um, it feels like they're out of breath, okay? They're out of breath. They're a little bit panicky. They're very enthusiastic. They're ex excited. Everything's happening all at once. They're making this, this quick snap decision to come towards you. Their adrenaline is pumping, okay? I guess it feels like that. So their adrenaline is pumping. And I feel like by the time they can get to you, the high priestess, this person's going to be like literally begging for another chance. Please, listen, please, please give this another chance. Okay, it's going to be a very serious communicate. It's going to be a uh, serious talk, okay? A very serious talk. Um, yeah, it's like it's their adrenaline is pumping. Yep, they're coming towards you. Can we please heal this? You know, will you give me another chance? I want this back. I, I'm seeing everything differently now. I'm seeing everything from a new perspective. I was such a fool. They're going to be very careful about what they say, how they say it to you, okay? Um, this person could be telling you, you know, I've watched you. I've watched you on a glow up. I've watched you... Um, heal and move on with your life. I've done nothing. I know I broke your heart and I know I didn't come forward. I've been watching you though this whole time, right? I feel like this person, um, man, they just, yeah, they don't want this over. They don't, they do not want this over. I feel like this person's going to be like, um, amazed because you've transformed like they had no idea that you were an earth angel they didn't know the depth and um and the intensity of this connection they didn't know this was like a holy kind of connection okay um they had no idea you were an earth angel they had no idea this was a possibly a twin flame. This person's going to tell you all of this. They had no idea, okay? You know, and, and they walked away from you, but they want to they change that now, okay? They want to change it now with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I feel like there's a cycle that's closing out. I don't know. This person wants to kind of skate by this, like, little crack opening here um you know when i see the wheel of fortune i see it as a giant metal vault door okay that's closing shut on the past cycle and it, and a new cycle starting okay um but this person i feel like they're they're trying to they're trying to get back in um i feel like they're this is somebody who's walked away from you possibly ghosted you for someone else Almost gotten another full-on commitment with someone else. Okay, hasn't talked to you. They betrayed you. They broke your heart. They breadcrumbed you. They gave to others. They had you sitting here waiting for them. Okay, but now this person is coming back in saying they've changed. They've bossed up into an emperor. You know, I don't know um, what scene this is from, but... 
I mean, it's literally showing me a scene from a movie where a man was supposed to get married and he literally is running out of the church and running down the street and hops on a bus and comes to the person he loves. Okay, I don't know what movie that is. <laughs> if you guys know what movie scene I'm picking up on, please let me know. But that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And this person, I feel like... Um, Honestly, it, it really does feel like the end of a romance movie, you know, where this where the masculine realizes he doesn't want to get um, get committed to a specific karmic individual. And he chooses he chooses the right one in the end. That's what this is giving me. OK, as an emperor, someone who's ready to be solid and stable and grounded and committed and devoted now. Okay, you could be a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Cancer, Gemini. Your person, yeah, Aquarius. Your person could be um, a Pisces, uh, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. This person stuck in their head about you. I feel like they have been stuck on you since you guys got together. They walked away. They were stuck on you still. They chose someone else over you. I don't know why. Why did this person choose someone else over the collective? Why did they choose someone else? This person could have been smug all up in their ego. Yeah, see, they had a choice. I feel like this person wanted to play some kind of game. They wanted to make somebody jealous. Maybe they wanted to make you jealous. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, I feel like they may had already been with this other individual and they wanted to make them jealous. They wanted to play some kind of head games. And I feel like, you came like like they started a third party with you that's when you came into the picture and then they it's almost as if they used you to make the, someone else jealous but in the end they realize that you're the one that they want okay yeah yeah and i feel like they're even amazed by this magician energy i feel like they were manipulative but i feel like they're amazed as to how this all of this got switched around it all got completely turned upside down for this person. And now they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. This person is heartbroken over you. Yeah, look, they were about to get married, collective. They were about to get married, okay? And I feel like they were at the altar or it was wedding, the wedding day or the day before the wedding or the week before the wedding, something like that. It could be going on right now, current energy, right? The wedding could be this weekend and this person is going to say no. They're going to say no. And I feel like they take off straight to you, the Queen of Cups. They end up saying no. Okay? Yeah. And then I feel like, phew, they're out of there. And, and then all of a sudden, they take action towards you. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, because they can't take it anymore. I just saw the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that they can't. You, you win. And you win, just like that. This person gets almost... I, they either they either decide to cancel this wedding at the like right before the wedding day happens or they leave this karmic at the altar. I am I kid you not. I kid you not. This is like being at the altar. Okay? And they say no. And they say no and they cut the karmic out. They stop this uh this uh, celebration, this wedding, and they take action towards you. 
Man, you could be dealing with a Virgo, heavy Virgo, hermit energy on the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, this person is breaking free from the karmic. Okay. Yep, and I feel like um, they have to come and confront you. They're pretty afraid of this. They're more afraid to come and talk to you than they are to cancel this wedding. They're more, they're more worried about what they're going to say to you to get you back. You know, they're more worried about facing you than they are to um, leave this karmic at the altar. Okay? Yeah, and she is going to be so mad. Oh, oh, oh this is when everything pops off. Okay? This is when everything pops off because it's like this is supposed to be a, a happy time for her. Oh, yeah. And this is when this fight happens. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's going to go down. Oh, boy. I feel like there's other people getting involved as well. Family. Uh, the maid of honor. Bridesmaids. Okay. Okay. I feel like they're they're all going to be wanting to fight with this person. This is when it pops off right here. <laughs> but it's going to be over. It's going to be done. The judgment call is made and your person is free. Okay? And they're going to be taking action towards you after that. Holy cow. I was not expecting that one. Okay, so what else can you show me? Yeah, see, I, I feel like they're taking a leap of faith. You are leaving their life. You're leaving them behind like a ponytail in the wind. Okay? And, um, and I, I really feel like they have gotten some encouragement. They're being encouraged, possibly at this moment, by friends and family. Like I said, somebody is saying, go, Go, man. Go for it. Go get her, right? And they take this leap of faith. They take a big risk and they do it. They do it. Oh, the adrenaline pumping in this person. I'm telling you, and like I said, you win. You win. Here's the thing, though. You're closing out a cycle. You're turning your back and walking away with that cup. So I don't know if this person is going to actually get another chance with you, but they do feel very empowered, okay? On this day, in this moment, they feel very strong, bold enough. This is making big, bold moves, okay? Bold enough to uh, leave the karmic at the altar and, and run while everybody's fighting about it, okay? <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, vulnerable. Yeah, they're coming towards you feeling very vulnerable. Guilty. Okay, guilty, guilty, guilty. They're more afraid. Look, they're more afraid to come towards you than they are to leave this karmic at the altar in front of everyone. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're kind of um, intimidated by your energy right now because you're very high vibing. You're making some bold moves, too, for yourself. So this person, you know, they don't know if they're going to get another chance or not, but they're coming in. Yeah, look, there's that guilt. There's that guilt. They know they're at fault for hurting you. They're going to have this is the moment where they face this. Okay, <laughs> this reading's just got me, you guys. Yeah, they're desperate. They want to hang on to you. Look at look at them white knuckling. Um, they want to hang on to your energy because you're the one that makes them happy. Okay, because you are their happiness and they know it. They're desperate for another chance. So this masculine is coming in. I feel like they're dropping their ego here. Do you see this? No more ego off of this person. And they're falling to they're going to be falling to their knees and begging you to forgive them. Look, it's right here. And it's right here. They're going to be on their knees kind of begging for your forgiveness, okay? Knowing that they really really screwed up. Knowing that you have every right to reject them after what they put you through, but they're really hoping that you don't reject them, 
okay? You may very well say, I'm moving on. I gots to go. Some of you could be traveling. I'm seeing somebody getting on a plane, okay? So you could be maybe going on a vacation or making a house move, something like that. But you're moving forward right now. Just as you think it's over, this person comes rushing back in. I am telling you. I'm telling you. And depending on whether or not they're, they're coming from the actual wedding, they may be showing up in a tux. Okay? They're, they're going to be scared, though. They're going to be scared. They're, like I said, they're more afraid to face you after what they did to you than to, um, uh, than to, you know, turn around and, and bail and leave, leaving somebody at, at, at an expensive wedding, right? Right? Yeah. Facing all of this, all of the fighting from their family. They know they're going to be in a lot of trouble with a lot of people. Okay. But they, it's like, they don't care. They don't care about that. They just want to, they just want to beg for your forgiveness. All right. 